So right now, I'm gonna be milling up some lumber. We're making a DM screen for Matt Mercer, which is pretty sweet. The reason we're going with the Wenge, and we got some really cool brown oak burl that's coming in, is I made the, the table for them. Wormwood made that nice, sweet table that they have with the Critical Role logo and stuff. And these are the same woods that we used on that table. So we thought it'd be cool if we made a screen that kind of contrasts that and goes with it really well. All right. A lot of this screen's gonna be used on camera. So you'll probably see the top half more than you'll see the bottom half. So I'm just trying to get a lot of these burls kind of closer to the top. I want that nice book match. And then these will be the ones on the inside. So this will be like one panel like that. So this is when I go to make up the panels. I'll know exactly kind of what orientation to go in. This glue that we use is a two-part mix and you just have to make sure that the, the water to glue ratio is, is correct. And then here we're just threading the glue on the plywood, stacking it up with the veneer, and then you'll see me put it into the veneer press, which is basically a big plastic bag with a vacuum on it. Uh, and you leave it in there for about three hours and that gives the clamping pressure to glue the panels together. So we use a, a laser to do a lot of really fine detail cutting and it gives us a lot of flexibility for what we can, can produce out of veneer and inlays and things. And you can't really see the veneer, it's covered in blue tape or painter's tape. Uh, and that's really just these pieces are so delicate and the veneer is so thin They'll, they'll break apart if you cut them like this without any sort of backer. All right. Stick them all together. When I'm doing really, really fine detail work, it's kind of my favorite part. This is when you like, it all starts coming together. You know, you spend, we spend all this time milling stuff out, cutting the veneer, picking the materials. And this is when it kind of all, you kind of see what you're working with, which is always cool. Um, especially with this one, because it has a nice, made it with the Bolivian Rosewood, Wenge, and the Ash, so it actually has three colors, which really complement each other nice. You can see how delicate that is. Just gotta carefully cut through the tape. And then we'll have a nice one piece emblem that we can engrave and inlay rather than all those tiny little pieces. Here we're just taking those emblems that we had assembled from the laser and we're gluing them into the panels. This is a cool project because we collaborated with them. This is their like official new how do you want to do this logo that they sent to us. Yeah, so this is crushed stone. We'll squeeze this into that engraving we just did. And then when we sand it all smooth, it'll look really nice. Have a little texture to it.
So we wanted to add just a little something extra uh, onto this screen. So here I'm routing some channels for some sterling silver stringing, precious metal. This is another really fine detail work that I really enjoy doing. You gotta fit the pieces really precisely, get the right depth and everything. We use actually really thin super glue or CA glue and it actually has a capillary effect that sucks it into all the, the pores and crevices and really locks down that silver into place. Uh, we also had a little bit of an opportunity to kind of add some cool features. Matt had asked for some sort of magnetic strip that he could pin up notes and pictures and things like that. So here we are fitting up some steel strips that we can affix magnets to later. This is actually one of our new designs. We're doing a magnet hinge system uh, with barrel magnets rather than, than spheres like we have done on other screens. So you can see here I'm drilling for the pins for those magnets. So we always like to, to put the, the Wormwood logo in some form. We thought it'd be really nice if we did a small metal fill engraving on the bottom of the screen. And this is actually aluminum powder rather than sterling because we found that the aluminum matches the, the sterling silver string a lot better. Here I'm just cutting out the mortises for those new magnet hinges I had talked about and it's just a matter of using the table saw to cut a small dado uh, just the right size to fit the magnets that you'll see later on in the installing. It's just a really cool new feature that we're probably going to add into future products because it works so well on the screen. Oh my god. It's coming out nice. This is going to be nice. Matt is going to love it. I think the fans are going to love it. So it's going to be a good improvement. Cool. to Wormwood for being our sponsor for tonight's live show. Um, 
been friends of the show for quite some time. Uh, they, uh, they made our fantastic table that we get to play on. Uh, they made this awesome damn screen for me just for tonight, which I'm really happy about. So that, that's why Wenge's fun, because you get nice, it's really brash, so you get like big splinters sometimes, especially when you're jointing and doing the milling. So we'll go get a Band-Aid so we don't bleed all over the DM screen. <laughs> Good. Yeah, this is good. Master craftsman at work. <laughs>